First of all, I just want to do some thanks. Firstly, to Sarah Hannah Black, who helped organise this protest. Give a big round of applause. <laughs> to Samir, who, who's been a fantastic... What's the word? What do we call you? Compare. Compare extraordinaire, we'll call him. Give him a big round of applause. To our fantastic interpreter, another huge round of applause. And to the fantastic stewards who've done so well, give them a big round of applause as well. And give yourselves a round of applause, why not? Why shouldn't you? Friends, I'm going to be quick because we've had a long day. And I want us to be practical. Because it's not just about protesting like this. But listen, we don't ask for much, you know. One of the wealthiest countries that has ever existed on the face of the earth. We can build houses that are comfortable and affordable and safe. That is a basic right, a basic need. And if a social order allows a situation where one of the wealthiest boroughs on earth, in one of the wealthiest cities on earth, in one of the wealthiest countries on earth, cannot provide safe, comfortable, affordable housing, that social order is bankrupt and it must end. And it will end. It will end. It's over. It's crumbling around us. Because it can't satisfy the most basic needs and most basic aspirations of the vast majority. This is a society that exists at the moment to serve the needs of those whose entire basis is profit. A society that puts profit ahead of needs and aspirations. And look what happens. This is a society which can't provide secure jobs where most people in poverty are in work, earning their poverty day after day. Where children grow up in poverty. Where old people can't afford their social care. Where our education system is vandalised, at vandalising the very future of this country. But it doesn't have to be like that. You can feel it in the air. People have had enough. And Aaron was right before. In the late 70s, we had that post-war consensus and it started to crumble and fall and collapse and people felt it at the time. The same thing is happening today. A society that puts profit ahead of needs, that puts the interests of landlords and tax dodgers and bankers ahead of the needs of the majority, that society is crumbling. And the issue is what comes next. And it could be months. It could be months before that movement and that Labour government is in power over there. And when that happens, we will build a society free of poverty, free of insecurity, that builds the affordable, safe, comfortable housing that everyone expects or should expect as a birthright. The secure jobs that will liberate young people from debt because they dare to aspire to an education. All of that will happen. And where we will wage a ceaseless and uncompromising war against the xenophobia, the racism, the bigotry that we've seen dominating Britain for so long. And how dare Theresa May, after launching an action to try and eliminate her opposition, to try and prop up her humiliated, disgraced government with a bunch of bigots, homophobes, anti-choice, climate change denying extremists. <laughs> I tell you what, there were people in the 17th century who'd be embarrassed about the DUP. They'd be ashamed. And we are not going to have the political wing of the 17th century running this country. Not going to happen. But just to wrap up, you know what, that election campaign, <laughs> it's one of the most inspiring things I've ever seen. Travelled the country to all these people like yourselves, like yourselves, who knocked on doors who knocked on doors all over the country. And the majority of those people knocking on doors had never knocked on a single door in their entire life. But they feel hope. And that's what comes next. We can all go in a minute. We can all go in a minute to the pub or whatever. But I just want to end with this practical point. We've got to be on a permanent general election campaign footing. That's what's been asked of us by Jamie Corbyn. And he's right. 
The election could happen any moment from now. And they are weak and divided and scared. They're on the back foot. They know not just they're in crisis, but the social order they exist to defend is in crisis too. So in the coming weeks and the coming months, let's knock on the doors of those seats that we need to win from the Conservatives to form a majority government to kick them out of office.